I'm Beth McKinney and today we're going to do a dark fairy design which is inspired by Annie Reynolds. For the dark fairy design you'll need tag pearl lilac, tag pearl purple, tag pearl white, black, white, a number two round brush, a number four, a number five round brush, a blending brush, a small leaf stencil, a butterfly sponge or regular sponge, a jewel cluster or tiara, skin safe adhesive, and iridescent cosmetic grade glitter. Load the butterfly sponge with tag pearl lilac on the small tip and tag pearl purple on the wider section. Sponge two narrow fairy wing shapes over the eye. Under the eye, make one narrow butterfly wing which curves down over the cheekbone. Reload the sponge if necessary and repeat the process on the other side of the face. Do your best to keep the two sides symmetrical. Use the BAM Organic Scent Stencil 4031 to sponge a delicate leaf pattern with the tag Pearl Purple. The pattern should extend beyond the fairy wings onto the forehead and also away from the corners of each eye. With tag Pearl White and the same stencil, sponge the leaf pattern over the tops of the wings. Always apply the Skin Safe Adhesive to the back of your jewels before you begin to paint so that the adhesive has time to dry completely and become tacky. Apply your jewel cluster or tiara gently to the center of the forehead. Use a number two round brush and black to outline the wings and add circular shapes and U shapes within the wings. This inner lacy network is the most time consuming part of this design, but over time it will become quicker for you as you have a pattern that you know and repeat. Follow the same instructions for the lower wings. The only thing that's going to be a little bit different is that at the bottoms of the wings you're going to create some tendrils and some swirls coming off the end of the wing. Use a dry blending brush to soften the outer edge of some of the black shapes. You may need to get that area wet again with more black paint in order to smudge that shape in. It's not necessary that you do the blending, but it's just a really nice effect. If you feel like you don't have time for it, you can skip it. Use your round brush to place some tiny white dots around the design on the outer edges of the wing. You want these dots to be tiny, not very large, because this design is a very delicate look, so you want it to reflect that. And you can add more dots and more starbursts, as long as they're small, around the outer edge of the design as well. And finally, add some iridescent glitter to the design. I used my fingertips so I could control where I was putting the glitter. Thanks for watching the Dark Fairy tutorial. I hope you liked it. And if you have any comments, please leave them below. Or if you have any designs you'd like to see us do, we always love to hear about that. And don't forget to subscribe to the facepaint.com channel. Thanks. Bye-bye.